There's a door here. Let, oh, let's, well, I, don't, I don't even know where to start. Where am I gonna start? Oh. Here, we'll just put them here. We're gonna light them. Oh, your hair fell down, little girl. Hi, and we're back again. We're picking up Scotty. I'm Scotty, and if you haven't seen part one, watch part one here of the Predator set. And this is the second part, which is like a battlefield set. So this is Sluban's The Predator helicopter set. B0719A, 468 pieces. And this is Sluban's Predator armored car set. B0719B, 420 pieces. So we're starting with A first. This is the helicopter set. What you see here in front of you is the full set. Check it out. Pretty cool. If you're into battlefield, if you're into military, this might be more for you. If you love The Predator, this is surely for you. If you don't like any of those, well, you know, just enjoy the video and check it out because this is pretty interesting to me, even though I'm not into this. This review is just for you guys. Let's just move these guys out of the way because we just want to see the helicopter right now. The main big thing, we'll come back to the figures in a bit and the accessories and all that kind of good stuff. Surprisingly, very sturdy. Because if you didn't know, Sluban makes very loose sets and pieces, but this is holding into place. There's only one area here, which is the tail on the helicopter right here. That is actually pretty loose because of the way it's designed. I think a lot of this is design flaw. Like the bricks clutch seem pretty okay to me. It's just the way that they design it. It's kind of loose there, but maybe they did that intentionally. Is it supposed to be able to twist and turn there? And you have these two flaps here that are adjustable. I'm not sure if you're supposed to adjust those or not. I do like the color of the helicopter. It's very like military style, right? It's very, it's not bright colored or anything like that. It looks really cool to me. The only thing that's kind of loose is the propeller up here, but that's supposed to be loose so you can spin it and rotate it. But what I mean is it tilts in different positions. I don't think it's supposed to really tilt like that. That would be kind of crazy. Yeah, you can fold it up. Fly like that. Let's fly, boys. Okay, that's not gonna fly. And also the propeller comes off really easy. It's like really easy to come off, but surprisingly, if it's all slotted in there, it doesn't really fall down. Oh yeah, it's holding up pretty good. It's a little bit loose here where it, where it lands on this thing here. If you push it in, it'll hold a little bit better. It won't be too loose, but there you go. The doors do open inside and there's nothing really inside. There's no control panel. There's a little bright yellow seat. I guess that's the seat. It's just not really focused on the detail on the inside. It's more about the outlook and the doors here open up. They slide open, look at that. They slide open. They work flawlessly, flawlessly. See that, it's working really good. It's been on this side. So this side, look at that. I was wondering what these things were here on the top. And then I saw in the picture, the promo, that you can actually just, you know, kind of hang them down. The mini figures or the figures that come with the set can hang on to these things. You know, kind of like, okay, we got this guy. Just an example, just to show you real fast. You can hang on to this grip here. Get through the chop. Get, I can't do that impression. I can't do the Arnold impression. I'm get through the chopper. But anyway, you get the idea that they hang on there. Pretty cool. I like it. And inside the chopper itself, in the back, there's nothing there. So it's pretty empty. You can fit, probably fit a couple of minifigures in there. Very cool helicopter indeed. Simple, nice, yes. Let's move this out of the way. At the Jeep, this is like a Jeep, right? Or like an ATV. This thing looks like it's out of the game Halo. Moves just fine, as you can see. It's really small though. I think it could have been a little bit bigger. It looks off. It doesn't even look like you can fit a minifigure properly in there. But the doors, there are no doors. It doesn't really open up. You just have to throw the minifigure on from the top. But it does have this cool looking gun on here and it does fire out. You put the stud in there and pull up on the trigger. And let's see if I can fire this thing far. Here, push it back in. Yeah. Okay, I gotta watch where it's going. Don't lose. I don't wanna lose it. But look. Only one thing fell off. Look, and that was pretty rough. Sturdy. Good job, Sluban. What are the helicopters? Should we do a drop test? Just the propeller is kind of folding down. Oh. Oh. That's pretty good though. We did like three times before it started to like really get loose. That's back together again. As you can see, it's, it's pretty sturdy, man. It's not bad at all. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Then we have the accessories and the figures. So check it out. We have a barrel here. Nothing special about this barrel. It's a nice green barrel. You got this little rock formation with little leaves on there. I guess that's for your figures to hide behind if the predator's gonna come and attack them. You use that to protect yourself. And this is probably the coolest thing I haven't seen before, but it, execution wise, it didn't really work that well. First of all, I don't know why they have this chain, but you have this tree with a fire on the top and I like how the leaves are like kind of transparent. But the thing is it's supposed to advertise like it can kind of fall over like that, but it's too top heavy. It's supposed to be angled kind of like this, but it's supposed to have like the predator. See, it's all falling off. It's too heavy, man. 
It was a nice idea on paper, but just didn't execute perfectly. But I like that they tried something really different here with this. It's supposed to hang like this, and you had the predator here. He's jumping on the tree. No, jump to the chopper! Something like that. But that's a cool idea. And I can also tilt... I mean, I guess you could tilt it the other way on the leaf. But then it will bring the whole plate down with it like that. You have to invent something to hold it nice and well, but it does stand up straight if you want to stand up straight. I think that was actually pretty creative. I thought that was actually pretty cool. And we have the figures. Let's take a look at these figures, all right? You got this guy in a camo, bald. He had no hair. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be designed. Like, you're not supposed to put anything on him. And these figures actually have a little vest on. You can take that off. You have to pull off the arms to do it, but that's funny. It comes with a little vest, and these are very different from many figures, by the way. The torso moves, legs are longer, arms are longer, head can move back and forth and tilt and rotate. It looks thinner than a minifigure. Do you like this style? I wasn't a fan of some of the Sluban sets for their figures, but this one to me actually looks okay. Like they look like military guys. Well, the girl here, she's really plain looking. Got black long flowing hair and print. Again, this is whether or not you like these kind of figures. I'm not sure. Let's move on to the next guy. This guy is really cool. He has a holster that can be added onto him and the holster can hold weapons on there. It's actually pretty cool. Hair is a little thin rubbery piece. Looks okay. Kind of weird, like spiky looking thing. Interesting. Finally got the one that we've all been waiting for, the Predator. Now the Predator is wearing a helmet. If I pull the Predator helmet off, it's just a blank face. And he had the gun here on his shoulder, which is pretty cool. And an extra additional weapon here on his hand. Really nice printing. Very cool indeed, I like that. Look at the detail. It looks similar to the big figure that we saw in the last video. But there's one small, very unfortunate thing about this one. Okay, so the second set that we're just about to see has the same figure, but this one was missing his helmet. Can you believe that? But it's all good. The company is sending another helmet over. So that's one of the advantages if you do buy from us. If you do have a missing piece, they will happen. Unfortunately, it happened to be a pretty big one on this one. We can send them to you, so, you know, don't freak out or anything. We got that down. Comes with tons of cool extra weapons here. You got shotguns and pistols and grenades and walkie-talkies and yeah, even more guns. Lots of guns for you to play with. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's look at the next one. Here we go. Put all these aside. Whee! This is the armored vehicle, the second set. We got some figures and some accessories, but let's just jump right into this and take a quick look at it. I'm not a military guy, so I don't know how to review this. But hey, it rolls really well. It's got eight wheels on it. I don't even know the technical name, but it's for you guys. Let's look at it from the front. Okay, so the front's built really well. And if you notice here on the side, this side and this side here, one is higher than the other. I have two missing pieces. No, they always have missing pieces. Why? But that's okay. Like I said, I can just order that and get it sent in. Maybe they release these too fast and it's like, oh, they forgot to put a couple pieces in there. Or they gave me some wrong ones. Totally fine. I'll get that fixed later. It's really small, so it's not really too difficult, but there's some parts in the manual where it's kind of hard to see the angle, and that's this little bumper area here, but it fits there perfectly. And if I had to really complain about this set, it would be the sides here. They can come off pretty easy because they're on like hinges that puts it in this kind of like a, an angle that you're seeing like that. It's not completely straight. It can come off pretty fast if you just keep moving around or like that, see? They're just laid out with that on the sides. So that can pop off and getting it back on there might pop off other little pieces, but that's okay. I can live with that. It is pretty sturdy. Yeah, not bad. Okay, the door in the back here is a little bit loose. It will flop around, but it's just right that it'll stay closed when you're playing around with it. It's kind of hard to get a figure in there though. It's like really small. So there's two pieces here that do open up on the top. They're a little bit hard to open up to get your finger in there, but they're kind of loose. So if you just go like that, you'll see them one flipped open like that and like that. Yeah, see so it's open and they close really easy. And there's a little gun here on the top for your soldier to use that and shoot the predator coming towards you. And there's two more slots here that open up like the little doors. And those are pretty secure and tight in there. Just enough to barely fit something inside that, but it's gonna get stuck if it gets in there. So that's pretty much the armored vehicle for you guys. I mean, it's just the side that was a problem and I was missing those two pieces. And we'll push this aside and see the accessories. We got this tree here. The burning tree, look, it's on fire. And one of the branches broke on here, this one. Where is it missing? It's gone, it's like it was melted off here. I have plenty of these pieces left over, but not this color. So, you know, it's a little bit bright too. I might just change that anyway. That's a little bit too, too bright of a green color. And you got this flame here, down here. Let's make it on fire. It's the same kind of deal. I do like the fact that you can kind of bend it and you can adjust it to how you want. Of course, it'll just fall over. 
but it's still kind of cool. You can get creative like that and have the predator hanging on to it. Where's the predator? Here's the predator again. Can hang on to this tree and be like, I'm coming for ya. I'm gonna hang on this tree or like that. They got this branch thing here. It's just, you know, an, a thing that you can hide your character again, just hide from the predator. And you got a little rock formation here. Very simple and small. And we got three other mini figures here. Same deal, no hair for this guy. And he's got a vest on again. Printing's very simple. There's nothing special about them. You just have to ask yourself if you even like the style. If you don't like the style and you just want to use the mini figures, the predator one actually looks pretty okay to me. Then you got this guy. He's got a black holster around him. That's again, that's, I think that was actually pretty cool that you can add things to his belt. He's got a vest on as well and a beanie cap on. Finally got this guy. He's just like the other one. He's got the spiky hair. It's the same character. Yeah, it is the same character as the other one. All right, here's the Predator. And just so you know, it's exactly the same as the other set. So there you go. And of course you got more guns. This time you got like bow and arrows and you got attachments for, I'm not even sure what these are. They're like clips to hang onto the guns and you can add them to your vehicle. Many, many guns. So there you guys go, this is Slew Bounce, the Predator, brand new for 2018. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. Now let's just jump in and see what how it compares to the minifigures. You'll see that in a second, and we'll catch you later in the next video. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, ring that bell. I'll get you guys more reviews. I gotta get back to work on the other ones. All right, so you guys, until next time, catch you later. Break me out. Here, for once you're totally right. Let's check out the stuff. Hey, what's up guys? You think you can help us out? Scotty, why aren't they talking to us? They're just standing there. Yeah, you're right. Hello, anybody home? How come they're not moving, man? They aren't talking because I'm trying to do a comparison video and you guys are disturbing me. Why are you in my video set? Come on, Scotty. You gotta help us out, man. We need the vehicles. You guys, no, can you just do that later, please? I need to finish this. In fact, you know what, Mini Scotty? I gotta change your outfit, man. That's better. Now you look like you're ready for war. Oh, come on, man. So here's a quick comparison between a Mini figure and a Slew Band figure. As you can see, it's a little bit taller than the Mini Scotty there. A little bit skinnier too, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, I'll put them side by side here. Of what they look like together. Can you fit in here? Oh, that's really hard to get you inside, huh? Mini figure Scotty kind of fits in there. It's a little bit bigger. His head protrudes up from the top. But it's not too bad. At least you can get one in there. What about the Sluban figure? Well, he fits a little bit better, but he's still kind of sticking out there. All right. Let's try the next vehicle. Oh, big Scotty, please let us go right now. I can use this gun and use this vehicle and go attack those Tobies. Dear, can you just give it a break? Just move out of the way first so I can show the people the comparison of this. Mini Scotty, I'm gonna try to put you up here where the gun turret is. That looks like you fit just fine there. Yeah, I look pretty good too. Thanks, Big Scotty. Yeah, dear, I look way better with the gun than you do. Shut up, Scotty. Thanks, Big Scotty, he kicked me out. I'm telling you, I'm just showing them this comparison size. Move out of the way. Question is, do you fit in this hatch here? Let's see if we can open this up. Oh, oh, you do fit inside there. So well, that's really tight, man. You look really uncomfortable in there. Let's put a Sluban figure in the side. Yeah, he fits just fine. What are the ones on the back? Help me, Big Scotty. I'm stuck in here. Let's see if we can really get in there. Can you get in all the way in? Come on. Oh, you're pushing me too hard, man. Ouch. Oh, that took his hair off and he went in just fine. I'm stuck in here, get me out. Well, at least you fit like that in there. All right, there you go. Dear, what are you doing? I have to go pee pee. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to relieve myself. This branch is perfect. Ah. That's gross. Come on, man, get out of here. Mmm, the tree tastes so good. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, dear, I gotta move you out of the way. Mini Scotty, let's see if we can hold up on this tree. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Are you doing really good? Look, it's still holding up right there. There, yeah. Oh! Big Scotty, why? That hurt. Wow, there it is, Scotty. This is our ride out of here. Did I say you guys can leave yet? Not yet. Ow, ow, ow. Come on, Scotty. First of all, we need to check 
if you can fit in here, all right? Open the door. I'll open the door for you. Can you fit in there? Oh, it's kind of tight, man. It's all good. I'm gonna take this top off here. I'm gonna see if I can pop you in there. Sit you down. Hey, dear. It's not too bad, man. I can fit in here. We can fly this sucker. Oh, yes. Now we gotta figure out how to get out of here without telling Big Scotty. All right, you guys, I'm back. What were you talking about just now? So this is going to be the last thing I need to check. Mini Scotty, I need to see if you can fit inside of here. Can you fit inside? Yeah, it's really hard to get in there, huh? Sure is. Well, you get the idea. Deer, can you fit inside? Go inside there. I swear, Scotty, I can fit in here. Just push me in. You're not going to be able to fit in there, man. Just come on. No, you know what? Forget it. It could be hot. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a little bit tight in there, but at least I got one minifigure inside. You can probably fit a couple more in there, but it's going to be hard to sit them down properly. Mini Scotty, you right in there? You're making me sick by shaking me around, man. Anyway, let's come out. Put this away. Dear, Big Scotty just left. Hurry up, we got to get you in there. Come on, we got to fly this sucker out. I'm going to fit, man. I don't fit this thing. I'm trying too hard. Come on, we'll push you. Push. Scotty, I'm in. Quick. Scotty coming back! Dear, just fly! I'm hanging on this thing like Tom Cruise! Go! Alright, Scotty! Hang on tight! I think I got the hang of this! Here we go! Yeah, let's go! Alright, you guys. Here are the Tobies. What do you want with them? And what's going on? And what did you guys do to the minifigures? Guys, where'd they go? Where's my helicopter? Oh, man!